안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 programming myths that stop people from learning how to program and that make junior developers feel like they are not good enough. I used to believe all these myths before and it really slowed my progress. The first one is everybody can learn to program. This one, it's a lie. This one is a lie that many companies tell you because they want to sell you courses and books and boot camps and videos and it's not true. People keep saying that everybody can program because programming is easy and fun and that anybody can do it when it's not true. Not everybody can do that. It's not going to be enjoyable for everybody and it's not going to be a career path for everybody. As a teacher, I can honestly tell you that there are some people that are just not good or they're just not made for programming just like I am not made to dance ballet. Some people are just different and that's okay. Saying that everybody can be a programmer is like saying that anybody can be a painter. Now, we can all take paint and put it on the canvas, but that doesn't mean that we are going to be good at mi mixing colors or at proportions or our shadows. And most of us are not going to enjoy painting. I fucking hate painting. You need to enjoy logical thinking and problem solving. And also you need to be okay with the fact that most of the time spent programming is frustrating, is lonely, not socializing in front of a computer, feeling like you are an idiot because your code doesn't work at 3 a.m. in the morning. This is why if you ask programmers if they really enjoy programming per se, they will say no. Programming per se, it's very, very frustrating, boring, annoying, whatever you want to call it. But what you will see is that programmers enjoy programming because of the result, because of what happens when you finish, what happens when you push through that frustration and your code is finally there. Programming is not for everyone. Programming can be painful, can be frustrating. Everybody should know this, but also it's worth it. Number two, programming is memorization. Beginners approach programming the same way that they approach studying for an exam in college, where it's all about remembering but not understanding. This is especially true in Korea, where everything is focused on the result on the exam rather than on the process. Programming is the opposite. First, you need to understand the concepts and then you get to remember them. It is not about memorization whatsoever. To make a great piece of software, you do not need to remember all the keywords on the programming language or whatever you're using. You need to logically understand the problem that you need to solve and what tools you have available so then you can make use of the tools to fix it. Most programmers do not remember anything. Most programmers Google at all times. Senior programmers are not seniors because they remember everything I never use Google. Senior programmers code less and make more money than juniors because they just have a better view and understanding of all the systems and all the landscapes of the software development world. If you want to be a good programmer, don't try to memorize, try to gain understanding first. Number three is you gotta be a genius to be a programmer. This one is a big one because of what we see on the movies most of the time. It's some like kind of wizard kid that is on the screen typing really fast, never making any mistakes and just hacking into the White House in the United States. Now this is not what a good programmer is or what a good hacker even is. This myth is the one that hits hardest for junior programmers that feel like they are not good enough. They don't feel ready to ask for a job, so they keep studying and studying and studying and studying. And this especially happens in Korea where everyone wants to be at the top and being at the middle is not good enough. And actually, you don't need to be a genius to program. They are just okay programmers. They are the average. They are good enough. Decent, good enough, okay programmer is what most of us are. You don't have to be a genius programmer to be able to get a job, to start your own company. You can just be good enough and that is okay in the programming world. Number four is programmers are talented. If you know how to program is because you have a talent that God gave you or something. Now, I'm a firm believer that discipline beats talent. 
Sure, maybe there are some people that are better at computers. There are some people that maybe will understand something like distributed cloud database systems faster if I explain to them. But programming is not a game of talent. Programming is a game of persistence. Programming is basically saying, okay, I'm not going to go to sleep until I fix this function. I am going to find this bug. I'm not going to get angry and I'm going to read and do everything again. What it takes to be a programmer is not talent. What it takes to be a programmer is not giving up. Programming is a constant fight with the machine. That's how you win. You win by not giving up. You don't win with talent. If you have focus, if you are disciplined, if you are patient, you are going to be a better programmer than somebody else that has a talent but cannot focus. Number five, you need to be good at math. The reason why I put this one here is because many people make it look like math and being good at math is a requirement to learn to program and that is not true. Now, it's not a requirement, but it helps. If you don't like math, can you still learn to program? Yes. What can you do if you suck at math? You can do websites, frontends, backends, databases, full stack. You can do iOS apps, Android apps, even some many, maybe some video games as well. But you're going to have a ceiling over your head. You're going to have some limits. For example, you won't be able to do something like a physics engine or create machine learning models or work with something like self-driving cars or maybe even some stock exchange automation. Now, if you want to do these things, you are going to need math. If you want to do the sort of things that Tony Stark would do, you need math. I suck at math and I'm happy that I'm never going to build a self-driving car. I don't care about building a self-driving car, so I'm happy. Done. All right, that was the top five myths. Programming is not for everyone. Programming is not memorization. Not only geniuses can program, programming is not a talent game. And if you suck at math, you can still be a programmer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for listening to me, for leaving comments, for leaving a like. Let me know what you think is the myth number six on the comments. We're so close to 100K. Thank you so much for your support. You know I salam hail very, very, very much. And as always, kamsamnida de...